good morning students uh, in this video today we are going to discuss about a cyber network security concepts a continuation of uh, the problems on a cyber anti patterns uh, let me see about the outline of this video uh, we are going to discuss about anti patterns what is anti pattern in uh, cyber uh, security and the concepts of anti patterns and uh, forces in uh, cyber anti patterns and uh, we are going to discuss about a few templates of anti patterns let's see uh, one by one uh, first we are going to discuss about uh, cyber anti patterns anti pattern represents the latest concepts in a series of revolutionary changes in the computer science and software engineering thinking as we approach the 50 year mark on developing uh, programmable digital systems uh, the software industry has yet to resolve some fundamental problems in how human translate business concepts into software applications. The, emer uh, the emergence of uh, design patterns have provided the most effective of software uh, guidance it available and the whole patterns movement has gone a long way in uh, codifying uh, cosine terminology for uh, uh, conveying the sophisticated computer science thinking. Uh, well, it is uh, reasonable to assume that the principal reason we write software is to provide solutions to specific problems. Uh, it is also arguable that um, these solutions frequently leave us worse off before we start. In fact, academic uh, researchers and uh, practitioners have developed thousands of innovative approaches to uh, building software uh, from existing new technology to a progressive process. Uh, uh, but with all this great idea, the likelihood of success of uh, participating managers and developers in, is grim. A survey of uh, corporate uh, software development projects indicated that five out of six project, I mean software projects are considered uh, unsuccessful. About a third of software projects are cancelled. Uh, the remaining projects delivered software that was typically twice the expected budget and uh, took uh, twice as long to develop as originally planned. Uh, this uh, repeated failures of negative solutions are highly valuable. However, in that uh, they provide us with useful knowledge of what does not work and thorough study, why such study? in a uh, vernacular of design patterns can be classified as the study of anti-patterns. Let's discuss anti-pattern viewpoints. Anti-pattern forms three major viewpoints uh, as a software developer. Uh, development anti-pattern describes situations encountered by the programmer when solving uh, programming problems or called as software developers. A software architect an architectural anti-pattern focuses on common problems in uh, a system structure, uh, their consequences and solutions. Uh, many of the most uh, serious unresolved problems in software systems occur uh, for this perspective. The software manager. A management anti-pattern describes at common problems and solutions uh, due to the software organization. A management anti-patterns affect people in all software roles and their solutions directly affect the technical aspects of the project. Let me see the common reference model for terminology uh, which is common to all the three viewpoints. Uh, the reference model is based upon three topics that introduces the key concepts of anti-patterns. Uh, first one, a root cause. A root cause provides the fundamental context for anti-patterns. Second, uh, primal forces. Uh, primal forces are the key motivators for decision making. Uh, the third one, a software design level model, SDLM. The relative importance of this uh, forces uh, varies significantly with the architectural skill, uh, which is defined by uh, software development uh, level model. An understanding of the architectural levels defines the different scales for uh, pattern applicability. Uh, even uh, each pattern has a most applicable scale where it is presented in the catalog but may also have applicability to other scales. The pattern template provides uh, the outline for uh, pattern definition. Let's see the next topic. What is anti-pattern in cyber security? An anti-pattern is a 
common response uh, to a, a recurring problem that is usually ineffective and risk being highly counterproductive. Antipatents are uh, not occasionally mistakes. They are common one and are nearly always followed with their good intentions. An antipatent is just like a software design pattern, uh, which is a structured narrative uh, where a design patterns focuses on solutions uh, whereas antipatent focuses on commonly uh, recurring problems and then addresses the problems with one or more candidate solutions. An antipatent template is an outline for each patterns that assures a consistent con uh, conceptual flow and presents all the necessary elements. Uh, typically, they use uh, two types of templates. Uh, one is a uh, full write-up and a second uh, simpler uh, template for micro patterns. Uh, the author uh, Christopher Alexander used an informal template in the original architecture pattern book called A Pattern Language published by Oxford University Press in 1977. Uh, there is a trade-off between uh, having a detailed pattern template and an informal one. An informal template makes it easier to work with people from afar. An elaborate template means a coordinated another group with a shared vision makes the patent more consistent and complete. Let's see the concepts of anti-pattern. Uh, design forces or uh, the uh, competing concerns prioritize and uh, technical factors that influence the choice of solution. Whereas in anti-patterns, there are two solutions. The one anti-pattern solution, the second refracted solution. Let's see one by one. An antipatent solution represents a common play, uh, common place, uh, difunctional situation, or configurations. The antipatent solutions may be the result of multiple choice over an extended system life cycle, or it may have evolved in advertently. Even solutions or uh, design choice yields benefits and consequences. The refracted solution. Uh, which is a result from uh, reconsideration of the design forces and the selection of more effective solution. Uh, the refracted solution sometimes heals benefits uh, that outbeat uh, its consequences. There are uh, also be related solutions or uh, variations that also resolve the design forces beneficially. Let me see about the difference between anti-patterns and design patterns. Uh, in this diagram, it shows the difference uh, figure represents the difference between the design pattern and the anti-pattern. Uh, in generally, uh, anti-patterns were developed from the notation of design patterns. Uh, there is a significant difference between the two concepts. Uh, those differences can be summarized into three fundamental categories as uh, area of focus, starting point and output. The goal of a design pattern is to map a recurring successful solution to a problem based on a certain context and outside forces. Uh, design patterns are generally designed to map to uh, one unique solution, uh, whereas anti-patterns on the contractory map to a refracted solution that is not guaranteed to be unique. Uh, let us see about a few differences between a design pattern and anti-pattern. Okay, based on uh, focus point, starting point and solution maps too. Let me take a parameter called focuses on. A design pattern always focuses on success, whereas anti-pattern focuses on mistakes. A design pattern always start point as well-defined questions or a problem based, whereas anti-patterns always point out or starting the point with the poorly defined solutions. Uh, somewhere uh, the solutions maps to the design pattern solutions always maps to an unique instances whereas anti-pattern solutions maps to a recommended path that is the major difference between these two let's we uh, come to a conclusion of the difference between design pattern and uh, anti-pattern as a uh, design patterns are generally designed to map to a unique solution whereas the anti-patterns on the contract map to a refracted solution that is not guaranteed to be unique.